Hello there, the rhythm chords which I use in my version of the Jan Ackerman Streetwalk, I'll just run through a demo of it. For this uh, sort of little intro, intro, I don't think it's set in stone. As long as you've got the the two main chords, that's the the key to it. What I do first of all is I'm on the fifth string, sliding from two up to three, and I've got uh, the fourth string on fret 4 and I'm just picking down strings 5, 4, 3 what I'm doing as well is I'm hammering on string 3 on fret 2 and then it goes back to string 4 fret 2 so you can work out some sort of picking pattern with that and then uh, this chord here is uh, string 5 on 2 and string 4 on 4 Is string five on one, or what I do is slide up to this, which is um, string six on six, string five on five, and string four on seven. So th there's those three main chords which you can practice your own strumming pattern to start with. Then it goes into the, this is like a walking up sequence where we're starting off with this chord. String 3 on 1 and string 5 on 2 is the cornerstone of it. Strum that once, then you add a finger onto string 3 on fret 2. So that's chord 2, then you move it up one fret. Then I'll move it up another fret. So there's four strums involved, which is one, two, three, four, to do that. So from that final chord, chord four, I then go into the two two main rhythm chords. The first one is a bar on fret three, and we've got string two on five string. 3 on 4 and string 4 on 5 to make that chord and I just keep the bar where it is and just hammer down the other 3 to get an um doing some damping with The strings to, uh, to get a, a rhythm going with that chord and um, second chord is bar on two and string two on three and string four on four and I'm doing the same thing with that to hammer 
upside down. So you repeat those in sequence twice over for the verse and then you go back from this chord you go back to the, the chord sequence I showed you and then it begins again. All right, um, the other chords I'm using sort of filling in chords if you like which which can be used uh, through the song that sort of thing you've got this first one is a bar on the top four strings on nine and then you've got the top two strings on 12. Move it, keep that position and move it up three frets so it's there and back down three frets. This one here you've got a string one on seven, string two on eight and string four on nine String three is dampened by the pad of your third finger on that one. You can slide that one up. With your little finger you can either see which one suits you, you can either just hammer on the um, string one on ten or the top two strings on ten. This one here you've got like a jazz chord here so you've got string four on five, string five on seven and strings two and three on seven also. And this one here is a, a string one on ten, string two on twelve, string three on eleven. Just strum the, the top three strings and your little finger is hammering on 12. For that one. Okay, and um, that's the rhythm sort of section. Which, is, which I've worked out, I'm working out like a, a the lead melody which I hope to, to post at another time the, the different scales that I use in that one. Okay thanks for watching, bye now.